everybody thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch so today it's going to be a review on this tanner right here and this is the tan suticles tanner they were kind enough to send these to me but they didn't ask me to make this full review video or anything like that I just wanted to so I just have these in the boxes just because I wanted to show you guys the boxes they came in this one is the self tanning body lotion and this one is the face lotion and they are in the shades dark first of all I am obsessed with this tanner I'll just tell you that right now this tanner just gives you such a nice sun kissed glow I just walked into the kitchen and my mom actually thought that I got a tan from the sun this literally looks like you were just baking in the sun all day so it's a really nice tanner it looks super natural it might be turning up slightly orangey on camera as I'm looking into the viewfinder but that's just because of all my lights sometimes it messes with the saturation if you watch some of my other videos some of the clips do turn orange and I address that so it definitely is my lighting I just need to sort of learn more about them and get them to work perfectly but yeah that's just my lighting I promise you it looks really nice and natural so before I put on the body tanner I did wax my legs I usually wax my arms too but I skipped out because I feel like they're not that bad right now so I actually don't shave I've just been waxing since I was 11 so anyways yesterday I did wax and I just used these V wax strips and then to exfoliate my body I use this everyman jack body wash this is in the scent citrus and yes this is another men's product I actually use quite a bit of men's products I'm planning on doing a video of my favorite ones so stay tuned for that this body wash does have little beads in it so it's really good for exfoliating so I use this to exfoliate my body with my little cute loofah. This is a little Hello Kitty one. I just got this at Walmart. So that is what I use for my body. And then to exfoliate my face, I use this Dr. Brand Micro Dermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. I got this in my Boxy Charm, so I've just been using it. It has little beads in it as well. So that's what I use for my face. And then when I got out of the shower, since I do have extremely dry skin, I have to lather myself in a moisturizer. So I just use this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Just whatever lotion you have will work just fine. I just kind of grab whatever one's laying around. And this one was so I lathered my body in this so since I did lather my body in moisturizer I did wait a good probably five hours before I actually put the tanner on just because if I put it on right after it just would have slipped and slided everywhere so I have to wait a bit so I'll just talk about the lotion really quick the body lotion and it is called the Tanceutical CC color correct self tanning body lotion this is in the shade dark again since this does turn up very natural on me and this is the shade dark my natural skin tone is sort of light to medium so I feel like if you are a fair skin tone their shade light would really work on you I think it would turn up beautifully and really natural so that is really nice the body lotion is 4.2 fluid ounces so there is a lot of product in here it says it gives a beautiful natural long-lasting tan without the Sun or tanning beds just good because you definitely do want to stay away from the tanning beds they're really bad for your skin the tanning beds and the natural Sun just make your skin age a lot faster so the older you get more wrinkles and fine lines your skin is going to get if you are constantly in the tanning bed or the Sun so it is really nice nice to use self tanners such as this one just for that purpose alone this says you can forget about any streaks or orange color which is really true because I see absolutely no streaking the only thing is my hands but that's my own fault I went a little bit overboard on my hand area the only thing is is this liquid is a sort of light tan color so when it goes on you can't really see the color you're putting on so you're gonna have to kind of go with your memory and sort of just put on as much as you normally do and just rub in circular motion it says it's infused with acai berry, mango butter, and vitamin E to moisturize, repair, and firm your skin. So one thing I did notice is, I don't know if it's just from me exfoliating really good, but my skin is so soft. It felt so soft the next morning. It still feels soft now. And it's probably 5 o'clock right now. So yeah, it makes your skin really soft. And then it says, best of all, our fresh coconut scent completely eliminates that self-tanner smell everyone dislikes, which is so true. Before I even open the box, which this was in, it just smelled like coconuts. It smelled so good. I still smell like coconuts now, but it's not an overpowering scent now just when I sort of put my arm near my face or anything I smell like coconuts which is really nice it smells really good it had no scent of self tanner whatsoever so it tells you how to use it too just like any other tanner you should exfoliate moisturize all that good stuff and then on to the face tanner which is this right here it's a lot smaller than the body tanner so this is the self tanning face lotion and they gave me the shade dark as well and it just says the same things on the back as it does with the body tanner the only difference with this one is it's actually like a moisturizer it's actually white and it comes out as a moisturizer 
So that one I was a little scared about because I don't usually tan my face, but I still did want to try this to give it a good first impressions and review, and I actually did really like it. It did give my face a nice tan, and it actually matched my foundation perfectly. It was like I didn't even need to put any foundation on at all just because my face matched my neck and body really well already, so I really like that. I am definitely going to continue using this face tanner as well. I really like that both of these tanners were a lotion, not a mousse. I really feel like the mousses can get really streaky really fast. So I definitely do like that these are moisturizers. But yeah, that was basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video and tell you guys what I thought about these tanners. I really have a fun time using new products and testing them out and reviewing them. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know in the comments what your favorite tanner is and what you go to usually or if you tan at all. I would really like to know. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I was going to plan on doing a video of all my favorite tanners. So if you guys want to see that, let me know as well. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!